Hi everyone, welcome to another weekly update. Um, this week I've been digging in my garden, just preparing the ground for um, a new patio and a new shed. And I've been digging, digging the foundations really, and just getting them prepared and ready and deep and, and filled with some solid material so that we can build on them. And it's really kind of um, made me aware of how important foundations are in our lives. You can't build anything strong on something that doesn't have a good foundation. And I just wonder over this past year with church or our Sunday morning meetings, not being in person, but online, have many of us struggled uh, because we've not been, we've not had our normal Sunday morning meetings that we're used to. Because if that's been the foundation of our relationship with God, a Sunday morning meeting, we are going to struggle because actually that shouldn't be our foundation our foundation yeah in in fact it says here in matthew 7 uh, verse 24 jesus says therefore everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock the rain came down the streams rose and the winds blew and beat against the house yet it did not fall because its foundation was on the rock and you know that is that should be our foundation our relationship with god should be based on hearing his word and putting it into practice doing what he's asked us to do you know taking the word of god and doing it not just hearing it not just remembering it not just meditating on it but actually doing it and that's the foundation of our relationship with him and when trials come and testing times come and struggle comes we can't be shaken we can't be moved because our foundation is in on the rock and the rock is jesus he is the rock the rock of ages and you know i i look back through the whole of the bible and actually what was god's original intention for man and one of god's most basic intentions for us and him was to walk together to talk together to relate to one another like he used to walk with adam in the cool of the day you know he had a close relationship with abraham he spoke to moses as someone who speaks to a friend you know david and god had a close relationship david was a man after god's own heart and and obviously come right into the new testament where jesus walked uh, walked with his father and he did what he, he heard his father do and that's the closest of relationship that God wants us to have with him and he wants us to build on that should be our very our basic uh, foundation in life should be Jesus and our and relationship with Jesus and then doing what he says and that's what we need to be building on because I don't want us to start going back to our life church meetings and that becomes the basis of our relationship with God again because when that's taken away we're going to struggle so God wants us to have a, a deep relationship intimate relationship with him and whether we're meeting on a Sunday morning or we're not we are still walking with God in everything that he's called us to do um, this evening uh, we have our encounter meeting at 8 p.m so you can tune into that on the website just click on there and you'll be able to join us as we pray and we just declare some things over um, the 25 mile radius and over our nation. And just to remind you, we have got the Soul Winner Boot Camp coming up on the 5th of May. So you can just go on our website and you'll see a link to, to be able to go onto their website and sign up for that. But at soulwinner.co.uk, you can go to and sign up for that. That's going to be a great opportunity to get trained, get equipped, to be able to... Um, understand better how to reach the people around us so it would be a great thing to do to sign up to that have a great rest of today and be blessed see you